Mom's going through hell back on Earth, and you were getting it on with a grasshopper <laughs> two seconds after you left. <laughs> Hello Munchkins, Magandang Umaga or Magandang Gabi, depending on what time you're watching this video. My name is Monica and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Alright, so I am working off of five hours of sleep. I've been away for the past couple of days and not getting that much sleep. Just for reference, I'm like an eight hours a night type of girl and five hours is just not cutting it for me. But today, of course, it is an exciting day because we are watching the mid-season finale of season two of Invincible. If you didn't already know, I have made videos on all of the episodes of season two now, along with the finale of season one, and I've made an Invincible playlist, which I put above right now. But if you are already a subscriber of mine, you will know that I try to theme my outfits based on what I'm watching in my videos. And today we have gone Invincible themed as much as I could as in Mark Grayson's superhero suit. So we've got the yellow, we've got a blue scrunchie, and we've got some of the black in there too, ignore the white. <laughs> I actually think I wore this for the finale of season one two years ago, but I really think it just fits the vibe, so we're wearing it again. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is still clearly not 100%. We are at the very end of the cold now, I believe. This has been going on for a long time. It's been over a month now that I've been unwell, and like not 100%. My tonsils are just like really swollen right now, but I think the cough is subsiding for the first time in like a month I didn't wake up to a coughing fit this morning so that's a good sign. <laughs> but without further ado let's just get on to watching episode 4 the mid-season finale of Invincible season 2. <laughs> Alright so the reason this is a mid-season finale is because they're going on a little hiatus now. I believe we're getting the final four episodes of this season sometime next year. I feel like I read a season maybe it's spring next year and that's when we're going to get the final four episodes. How do you feel about that format by the way having like a hiatus in between? I feel like we haven't had that on a show in a a hot minute. The most prominent one that I can remember is Teen Wolf season 3A and 3B. Oh, that was good. That was like a really good hiatus, man. But I don't remember them doing that a lot in recent memory, like splitting the season up into two chunks. Oh, wow, well, you did it. You season four, but that was like only a month wait. And was it even worth it? I don't know. <laughs> All right, but this episode is called It's Been a While. Oh, so it's got a picture of Omni-Man. I'm assuming that we're gonna see what happened when he left Earth at the end of season one and how he ended up kind of taking over this other planet instead. <laughs> Hello, son. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, that was the last words of the... Well, dad was the last words of the previous episode though, wasn't it? <laughs> Okay, so immediately after. I stepped in. Oh wow, he's been flying for a considerable amount of time then if he's getting a beard. How long would it take to grow a beard that substantial? Because it was it's been a month. The start of season two was a month since the end. So is it a month? Is it two weeks? Can someone give me some beard knowledge, please? <laughs> I am on a pedestal. Oh, he was gonna kill himself? Tell me now. And he saved them. Oh, wow. He's a broken man. Hug, punch, cry, scream. Oh. Son. No, you don't get to call me that anymore. Yeah. What do you want me to say, Mark? You could have started with, I'm sorry. Are you? You're not sorry. His people do need your help. I don't care. I know that's not true. Five minutes. For them, not you. Here's the thing though, why would you raise your son to believe you were this great hero? And then one day turn around and be like, by the way, we're gonna enslave all of humanity. You know those people that I've been telling you that I've been trying to protect this whole time? Yeah, that's not really what we're doing here. Like, why would you raise someone to believe all of that? Because Mark has such a strong sense of like, he wants to help people, he wants to be a hero. But so Ew. Welcome to our home. My husband's told me so- Husband? What the fuck is going on? Is it another pet? What else could you possibly- Mark, uh. this is your little brother. <laughs> Bitch. You gotta be- Invincible. You gotta be invincible. <laughs> Fucking kidding me. There we go. <laughs> what a random place to put the title card. <laughs> oh, hon. Has she been walking ever since? She got yelled at by that guy. Oh. this song insinuating that obviously she still is in love with him and straight after you find out that he's got a kid with someone else how long has it been clearly more than a month now i need time stamps time stamps are so important to me no wait summer we had summer and now we've started oh we've been a good couple of months i forget sorry oh yay 
Hey! Welcome to the world of the living, clone. Not this time. Yeah. I was gonna say, now they're gonna know who's who. We know exactly who's the original and who's the inferior. Inferior? This is going to be so much better. Oh, that's not, that's not actually gonna be better because before you kind of, you thought you were equal, but now one's gonna rule over the other. It's Donald. Donald the cyborg. <laughs> Oh, you was dead. He was in a hurry, so I didn't get much of an explanation. That was a week ago. Oh, it's been a week. Oh yeah, of course, it was saying about, what was it, six days to get there? You just replaced us, except, you know, bugs. <laughs> Mom's going through hell back on Earth, and you were getting it on with a grasshopper <laughs> two seconds after you left. A grasshopper? We're only allowed to procreate with genetically similar species. Humans, for example. They'll see your brother as inferior and kill him. So why would you do it then, you dumbass? Contraception, baby. Like, come on. How can I help? Oh. I couldn't even beat you. We can start training. Wow, they're gonna take on, like, the Viltrumite army? Oh, no time to think. What, what was that? You are too late. Oh my god! How did they find them? Dad. Go! Oh, dad's gonna die. I can feel it in my bones. Oh my god, it's the Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> By the time I found out about you and your mother, I was... What's the human phrase? Head over feet? Heels. Heels over feet. <laughs> if you fight well, we may allow you to join the Empire. I'm warning you. Maybe I wasn't... Ay, ay, ay. Not oh, insect. not the finger. Not just one finger. Stay away from my children. I just think dad's gonna die. <gasps> Move then, girl. I hate when they do that. Like, the pillar's not gonna follow you. Just go to the side. You deserve death. Yes, actually. Oh! Oh my god. I guess when your arm's a gun, you really only have one trick. It's a good trick. Come in the water. Will he die? Come on. We're not done yet. Not by a long shot. It's gonna get too cocky. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Nice. Are they okay? No. Please. Please just help them. I think they're dead, babes. I don't even know why I miss Nolan so much. He was your husband, babe. You're bound to miss him. Yeah, the real reason we're all still alive and not slaves. Facts. You made things work without, you know, need the bum. You never did. Because really, you raised Mark, and Mark is the one who fought Nolan and stood on his own principles. Oh, this guy's going through it. Are you okay, Mr. Robot Man? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he doesn't remember this then? Oh no, they do look very fragile. They're literally bugs. Oh, what? Why? Why do I care about them? I'm not supposed to feel this way. Oh, he's really going through his midlife crisis. This is how you should have felt on Earth. Can you stop abusing your child, please? Let's just take a short break so I can tell you about my partnership with Fandomian. I promised I'd make it quick. Mark, what are you doing? She's tearing you apart. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> She's trying to kill you, Mark. If you're not trying to kill her, uh, you're going to die. He doesn't want to kill. I think he's going to do it, and then he's going to go through his own another crisis. She oh. Finally. Oh, not the nose. Woo! Do it. Oh, girl! Oh. That's what you do. Well, that's what happens when you hesitate. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. Are you okay? Well, no, he's been stabbed. It's over. Someone's gonna get him. There we go. I knew it. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's alive! 
Holy hell. Next time you kill somebody, make sure they're dead. Oh my god, he's resilient. Hard to kill. Did he just kill him? He's broke his back. No? Is he dead? Show us the face. Confirmation of kill. Debbie, think this over. <gasps> what? Dad. They're taking him. Shit. Don't forget the good I did. Read my books, Mark. Oh. And they're just leaving Mark there? Wait, why? Oh, wait, she left the books. And those are the ones he really wanted him to read. You're doing time. Oh, she feels bad. Did they die? Did the couple die? Clone or robot? I feel like he's gonna try and cut himself or something. Not there. Where? Why there of all places? I guess you want to see your veins or something? Dangerous. It's bleeding. Okay, not a robot. Oh. Thank God. <gasps> so there's blood, but then there's also something else. He is a robot! He's a robot that bleeds. Your father will be executed, and you will return to Earth. You will assume his mission and prepare <laughs> the planet for our rule. Well, no. We will check on your progress soon. He's like so not going to do that, though. I don't know how they're going to get out of this, though, to be honest. No, there's got to be more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we still have to get Brain Guy involved somehow. Here we go. Where's Mr. Brain? Yes. King Mauler. King? Why stop at one idiot clone when I could have so many more? Yeah, but wouldn't they have an uprising? I would so- that would just like make them want to turn against you, right? <laughs> oh, what? He's gonna kill you! <laughs> That's what I thought! Laced with a modified mycotoxin, that is. It happened a lot sooner than I thought, but obviously. This is why you're supposed to be equal. Things are the way they are for a good fucking reason. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, now it's the end. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, that's all we're going to be getting for the next couple of months now, guys. That's really interesting. I, I kind of wish they did like one of those Invincible will return in a couple months or like spring 2024 or something like that, but they didn't do that. It is the mid-season finale, right? I got that right. If they have another episode next week, I'll just keep my eye out for it, but I'm pretty sure this is... This is the last one we're gonna get for a while. All right, guys, so let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Also, you know, what you're thinking of the whole season. It hasn't, again, gotten as much hype as season one did. I just feel like promo teams on like so many different shows and streaming services aren't as good as they used to be because um, I'm just not hearing about as many things like about to start or anyone hyping about anything as I used to a couple years ago. I just find that really interesting and honestly quite, quite sad because a lot of work and effort goes into these shows and you can tell that a lot of love has gone into Invincible and for it not to be like a hot topic of conversation is quite sad to me because I really like it I really enjoy it but yeah we've got a surprise video dropping tomorrow fingers crossed and um, the next episode the final episode of One Piece is going to be out next week fingers crossed again it is actually already filmed I was supposed to get it out a couple days ago but we had some difficulties doing that so all I have to do is edit it and I should have some time uh, next week to do that for you guys. Again, if Invincible has another episode on Friday, I guess I'll do that. It kind of felt like the end, but we also have like a lot of cliffhangers and a lot of the endings of this show, of each episode. The throat is a lot better. I actually only coughed twice in this video. You guys don't see it over the past couple of weeks, so obviously I, I edited it out, but a lot of the time I got a pause so that I can have like a, a coughing fit off screen, you know? <laughs> but I only had one or two this, this time, so that's actually very promising. Throat is feeling a bit weird still, tonsil still swollen, but the coughing has been kept at bay and I'm seeing that as a positive. <laughs> but I think that is it for today's video, guys. If you wanted to hear more from me, my socials are also linked down below. That is my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, and my Letterbox account. They are all at at Monica Katapusan, so is my YouTube name. Also, my letterbox, I need to update that. I haven't actually touched my account in a really long time, but I have watched the Marvels now. I watched it opening night, and I also watched Ballad of Sombers and Snakes. I also watched that on the opening weekend. I do plan on doing videos on both of these things, but I have already watched them. Marvel things I always watch in the cinema because I can't avoid spoilers no matter where I look. And then for the Hunger Games one, I just had to experience that with one of my best friends. We've been like leading up to it for ages, so I just had to watch that, but oh my gosh, that video is going to be really good when it comes on streaming. Just keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching if you stayed until this point. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Munchkins. <laughs>